Hi, this is Edger Joe and welcome to another video in the series on Excel tips and tricks. In the previous video, we um, I showed you how to use the if or statement. In today's video, I'm going to show you another variation of the if statement called the count if, or it's actually a variation of the count statement um, or count function called the count if. So we've got the lookup tab, but I'm actually going to go to the third tab, the sheet one, double click just to rename it and I'm now going to make a summary tab a summary tab so let's get rid of this information we don't need that anymore and basically what I'm going to do on the summary this is management information for my uh, movie booking system and here I'm going to have all sorts of um, data summary data that I can use so what I want to do now is I want to record just how many um, were eligible to go and watch a movie and how many were not eligible to go watch a movie just some information that I want and I'm going to use the count if uh, uh, function for that so first of all I need to go see I want to give it some sort of heading, heading eligible I hope I'm spelling it right eligible so were they eligible and what I want to see so I'm just gonna oh I'll show you another one if I want to merge the two cells or one or more cells I highlight the cells I want to merge I go to this area over here I click on merge and center now that is merged I'm just gonna bold that and then I'm gonna say yes how many were yes how many were no so that's what I want to do here I'm just going to center those as well and I will make it nice in a second right so what I want to do is I want to say equal count if equal count if open bracket two things they need they need a range and they need a criteria so I go to my main tab I click on the main tab then I highlight the range remember range goes from one cell to another cell and you can see there main exclamation mark which is this one that's the main tab and it goes from I4 I4 colon I13 I4 colon all the way to I 13 right so that was the range I put in a comma now it wants the criteria and the criteria I want to use for the yes is just yes that's my criteria close bracket so basically what it means in that range it's going to count every cell that has the value of yes so I press enter now I'm back there and I can see there's seven just to check I go back I can see it goes from one to ten so there's one two three no's so the rest will be yes um, my mouse has just frozen <laughs> there we go I'm back I'm back so there we go so there's three no's and that's why that is showing that one so now I'm going to do the same thing for the no I'm going to do a count if equal count if open bracket now they want the range I'll go back to the main tab I highlight the range I press comma and then I want to put the criteria and in the second case it's going to be no so the count if statement is going to look at the main tab it's going to look at that range which is there it's going to find all the cells with a value of no and then it's going to return it over here so there you can see it is it makes uh, it's three and it makes a total of ten seven and three so in this case for my management data ten people so far wanted to come to I don't know the movies um, that wanted special tickets maybe it's premieres or whatever and seven were eligible three were not eligible so I just want to make that look a little bit nicer so I'm going to do that so it just looks slightly nicer and then obviously um, later on I will be making a little chart that just goes with it and these things change uh, let me show you quickly actually so let's say um, I want another one that's no who's quite young uh, do, 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 do. no one else is young that is not helping me okay let's let's decide then so he wasn't eligible and I just want to show you the what happens on the summary sheet so I'm going to change that to something that he is eligible for like for example Cinderella that now is a yes so we're expecting there to be eight yeses and two no's. so when I go back there there's now eight yeses and two no's. so that's it gets automatically updated so I just want to change this one back just so I have the data the same as before 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you understand the COUNTIF function better.